So I thought that this little sweet little vacuum could help me and it brushes oh, hold on now it's everywhere you stupid thing hey this is Lorena and I wanted to do a favorites video it seems like you guys really like those and I kind of got a couple little things now I'm not promoting spending I stand by the stuff like I purchased last time. I still love it. Maybe five or more favorites. I also want to do like favorites, like a little bit of personal stuff of like, you know, just stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. All right. One of my favorites, favorite number one, it's these sweet little Vera Bradley pouches. Now, if you're a sewer or you're not a sewer or if you're an applicator, Whatever you are, this is my hand binding pouch and I also use this for my applique. So I use, I shared this on my applique video. If you wanna see it, it's up there somewhere. If you're an applique or some of you just don't like applique. I don't know why, but any, I understand. My scissors, my applique uh, needles that I don't use, um, my straw needles. I like doing binding with these kind of needles. This is a tailor's thimble. Come on. And this is a regular thimble. My favorite. And I have a video on where I talked about these. I'll link that above. Polyester bottom line thread. And I use this all for applique. And I use it for uh, binding my quilts. I have my lamp because I'm getting older. I'm having sight problems. <laughs> I need more light. And then here's my needle threader. I love this threader. It's, like I said, I have a video on my favorite applique and it will explain more detail on that. And then I have my Tooltron favorite seam ripper ever. And so this is what's in this pouch. Also another favorite, um, I got this at the Houston Quilt Show. This is Lolo Bar. It is cream for your hands. Oh, it's oh my god it's like a cream that you could put on your hands so sometimes i'll be working and then my hands are getting tired and i'll start kind of like get some of this and rub my hands and just kind of like stretch my hands out when i've been doing binding on a quilt or something or applique but i also have this in here i love this stuff seriously favorite what i did find in vera bradley recently i went to the outlet with a friend of mine and they had these the same but it had a hanger on it and it has one two three four five six and a huge pocket um these were 70 percent off so i think i paid like 15 maybe $17 for them. I love this dumb thing. And let me share with you. I've been looking for this everywhere. They don't have them no more, but I found these with the hangers. What I decided to do is I went ahead and I took this hanger bit off. Um, I was just gonna pull it off, but it's, this, this thing is really heavy. Um, I just went ahead and unstitched it here. Use this Tooltron seam ripper and started digging in here. I love this seam ripper. Do you see how quickly it just ripped that open? There it is. And I'm just gonna like hand stitch this shut. I'm just gonna close this knot. It was mainly used for toiletries, I, sh I guess, like if you go on trips, but I'm using it for sewing. And I'm not trying to share something with you that I used it once. Like I've had this for like 15, I've had this forever. They don't make this one anymore, but they make this little bigger one. It's $20 give or take if you find an outlet, but you could also, if you find a Target one or Walmart, this is just kind of like the concept of, of what these are. It doesn't have to be specifically very Bradley, you know. Favorite 
Let's, there's a mess over there. <laughs> Favorite number two. Due to COVID and everything that's been going on, someone gave me these little huggy bags. These you could find in the baby wipey department. I've bought in several of these. It comes out to like a couple dollars, like three dollars, and it has a hug containers uh, for wiping, you know, baby's rears. I give the wipes to my daughter and let her go ahead and take them because what I want is this plastic container. So this is empty or whatever wipes, sanitary wipes that you have. And I will literally pull the whole thing out. So I get the wipes and I just start tearing them apart. Now you don't have to, you could just shove the roll in there, but I'm a little bit, I don't know. I want it to come out easily, but I'll open them. A whole bundle of wipes in here. And then the neat thing about this is it has a sealant, it like a zipper, right? And it seals it all up and you can open and take the air out. If I go to a restaurant, I've gone to so many restaurants where they said they cleaned the table and I tell my friends, let's do the wipe test. And you're not gonna believe how many times I will wipe the table and you can see a dirty brown handprint where whoever wiped the table did not wipe it with a clean sanitary item or they just didn't wipe it. And I will go and wipe the pepper, salt and pepper, all the containers, The I will just wipe everything. And then if I touch a door, I will walk with the wipe in my hand and I, then I will have these in my car, pull one out and wipe everything down. I think it costs $3, love, and whatever this costs. And if you have a family member that has babies, just give them the package of wipes. Yeah. All right, item number three, that's one of my favorite. It's Grammy's Secret Spot Remover. I love this stuff. I do embroidery work and of course I have long arm quilting and you know some people go on there and complain about Gamel that it's an oily machine. Yeah, it is. It's like a vehicle. Like I tend to oil the bobbin area every time I renew a bobbin that sometimes there'll be a slight oil stain. It's not even significant enough for the client to even notice it, but if it is, I use this stuff. So I have one that's very old and one that's brand new and I'm gonna test both of them. I'm gonna use oil because that's usually what I have to deal with when I use this, but apparently you could use this on stains. So I'm gonna share with you, here's two oil stains. This is the old one that I had and this is the, the new one that I just bought. Let me try the new one, how much? It says you rub the area. Yeah, do you see how it's kind of clear and mine was really yellow. No, it's pretty good. But let me just say this, I have had this for like 10 years. Work it in. just rubbed it off. I also got like a piece of batting with water and just kind of rubbed it. So that's why it's a little bit wet. These are, this is from my oil, older stain remover. And this is from the new container. I'm not, I'm upstairs, so I need to go downstairs to kind of mess with this and wash it. But this is what it looks like currently. So this is what you can see the stains still look like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and rinse this off. So I wanted to share how there, I know it's wrinkled cause I washed it, but this is where the oil stains were. You can see that there's no oil stain anywhere. The oil stain is completely gone. Of course it's wrinkly because it was in the dryer. All right, item number three. <laughs> it is this thing. <laughs> um, I ended up getting 
my daughter got me this. She says that a nail tech got it and that, you know, the dust from the nails and stuff like that, that this was like a little table vacuum. This one is USB chargeable, which that's what I thought I was purchasing with this one. This is a battery pack and this is a battery pack. So this has a double battery. I got both of all of these. My daughter got me this for Christmas. I believe she got this at Amazon, but this one, and they have brushes underneath. Let's see, brushes. And then it has this little tiny filter that goes in and holds everything in. And it vacuums anything on your table. So I love me cuddles, and I just showed another one. I love, uh, but I hate how messy they are. So I'm gonna cut a small strip of this. This to me is the worst cuddles. It has this, uh, it, <laughs> I tend to wear a mask when I trim this. I did this for a family member. I did a quilt for them and oh no, it was just a yeah, thing. Oh, I hate this stuff. you work the edges it's supposed to stop fraying do you see that look at that and then you can get the screen and then just throw all this out let me throw it out oh and it does come with this sweet little tiny brush which you know you will need to clean like those little tiny I wish kind of like maybe I could attach it because I know I'll probably lose a brush. I love this cuddles, but this is what I hate. The, that. I can give her a go. Come on, let me stop because I think I got too much stuff caught up in here. This is what she looks like underneath, which is fine, because I am scrubbing it. It makes a mess everywhere, look at that. Oop. Come on, little. And it's contained. This is how I cleaned it out, put back in here. What I like about this one, it has a USB. I don't have to worry about batteries. But this one has a little bit more juice. The battery pack one sounds like it has more juice. I don't know, but they honestly, these sweet little, they're gonna be my new baby Gary's. <laughs> baby Gary's, uh, um, for table Gary's, baby Gary's. Oh, I love these, these are so neat. And you can see that it's not linting anymore because I vacuumed it up. I can't believe it's worked. I hate working with this stuff. Now, I love quilts with this stuff, but I hate working with Minky and Cuddles. And it's not because, it's not even the quilting, to be honest. It's the, the trim off. When you trim it, it just makes a huge mess. Love this. <laughs> 